The race to outdo each other in the artificial intelligence space has reached a new level as Meta announced a new language model based on artificial intelligence. Meta just released some high-level tech that is mind-blowing to software developers. Meta AI has introduced Chameleon, a more efficient state-of-the-art generative model for text and images. This model is the first of its type, using a modified formula for text-only language models to deliver remarkable outcomes with unequaled computational efficiency. If you're still confused, Meta is the biggest AI company that has now shifted its focus from the metaverse, a virtual reality world, to the AI space. The company has an AI team working towards providing the community with various AI technologies, and they have now introduced the text-to-image software. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't the first text-to-image software ever produced. There already exists such software tools like Stable Diffusion, Dolly, and Midjourney, but this new technology by Meta is superior to those prior released by the companies. Their tech has new features that are not there in the old software. Even the quality of these new images by Meta is high definition. So how does this text-to-image technology actually work? The latest iteration of the model excels in generating text-to-images with cutting-edge speed, leveraging only a fifth of the computing resources compared to previous transformer-based methods. This maintains economical training expenses and superior inference efficiency, all the while harnessing the flexibility and effectiveness of autoregressive models. Operating as a casual mass mixed modal CM3 model, Chameleon elevates the functionalities of its predecessors by creating text and image sequences that rely on diverse sequences of text and image content. In simple words, the Chameleon technology allows you to give an input describing a scenario, and this software will turn that description into an image. Chameleon combines the inherent potency and adaptability seen in autoregressive models with impressive efficiency and cost effectiveness throughout both the training and inference phases. This notable progress surpasses the constraints of earlier models, which were just confined to singular tasks of either text or image generation. Chameleon employs a decoder-only transformer architecture similar to established text-based models. Nonetheless, what distinguishes Chameleon is its unique capability to process and produce both textual and visual content. This distinctive feature empowers Chameleon to adaptly manage a diverse range of tasks, including responding to prompts and generating models. According to Meta's research on autoregressive multimodal models, diffusion models have become quite dominant recently in picture production efforts simply because they have superior performance and low computing costs. On the other hand, token-based autoregressive models are well known to yield great results with superior global picture coherence in particular, but they are significantly more expensive to train and employ for inference. Generative models are getting more and more complex, trained on millions of sample photos to learn the relationship between visuals and text, but they may also reflect any bias found in the training data. Meta AI approach in constructing Chameleon and the performance it promises to deliver represent a significant leap forward. In an Instagram channel's most shared by Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg, a video showed how Voicebox could read out text in a variety of vocal styles, remove noisy distractions from audio tracks, learn and replicate speaker voices, and even produce output in different languages. A blog post by Meta on Friday described that the model could do tasks it wasn't specifically trained to do. The multilingual model can also produce speech in English, French, German, Spanish, Polish, and Portuguese. Other listed features included diverse text-to-speech style transfer, content correction, in-context text-to-speech, and noise removal. This type of technology could be used in the future to help creators easily edit audio tracks, allow visually impaired people to hear written messages from friends in their voices, and enable people to speak any foreign language in their own voice, said Meta in its blog post. It suggested that the model could bring more natural voices to virtual assistants and non-player characters in the metaverse. Zuckerberg said the voice box was still a research project, but the meta would be building more on it. The video clip closed with a voice that sounded like the meta chief saying, more soon, in Polish. And if you think it ends there, then you're wrong. Meta has been developing AI models to process multiple forms of media and made several of these open sources for research purposes. Another notable addition to the array of publicly released AI tools is the text-to-video system called Make a Video. This innovative tool enables users to input a string of text, such as a dog wearing a superhero outfit with a red cape flying around the sky, and in response, it generates a concise five-second video clip. The resulting clip possesses a somewhat raw aesthetic, reminiscent of unconventional old home videos. While the visual effect may appear rudimentary, this system offers an early glimpse into the forthcoming developments of generative artificial intelligence. It represents a logical progression from the highly anticipated text-to-image AI systems that have garnered significant attention this year. 
The recent announcement by Meta regarding Make a Video, although not yet accessible to the public, is expected to motivate other AI laboratories to unveil their own versions of similar systems. However, this advancement also gives rise to substantial ethical considerations. In the past month alone, AI Lab OpenAI has made its latest text-to-image AI system, Dolly, accessible to the general public. Additionally, AI Startup Stability AI introduced Stable Diffusion, an open-source text-to-image system. Nonetheless, the emergence of text-to-video AI introduces even greater challenges. Firstly, these models demand an extensive amount of computational power. They pose an even more substantial computational burden compared to large text-to-image AI models, which utilize millions of images for training. Constructing a brief video clip necessitates the compilation of hundreds of images. Consequently, it's primarily the domain of prominent tech companies that can financially support the construction of these systems in the foreseeable future. Moreover, training text-to-video models is more intricate, as there is a lack of comprehensive data sets featuring high-quality videos paired with corresponding text. To address this challenge, Meta took a creative approach by amalgamating data from three separate open-source image and video datasets to train its model. By utilizing conventional text image datasets containing labeled still images, the AI system acquired knowledge about objects, names, and appearances. In parallel, a database of videos contributed to the AI's understanding of how these objects naturally move within a visual context. The fusion of these two strategies enabled Make a Video, as detailed in a non-peer-reviewed paper published today to achieve the ability to generate videos from textual input on a larger scale. Tanmay Gupta, a computer vision research scientist at the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence, expressed optimism about Meta's outcomes. The shared videos demonstrates the model's capability to capture 3D shapes as a camera perspective changes. Moreover, the model exhibits a certain level of depth perception and grasp for lighting effects. Gupta acknowledges the certain details and movements are executed convincingly and with a degree of proficiency. However, Gupta emphasizes that there is a substantial room for improvement within the research community, particularly if these systems are intended for tasks like video editing and professional content creation. Complex interactions between objects remain a challenge. While the generated video prompted by an artist's brush painting on a canvas depicts the brush moving over a canvas, the strokes on the canvas lack realism. Gupta envisions the potential for these models to excel in generating sequences of interactions such as, the man picks up a book from the shelf, puts on his glasses, and sits down to read it while drinking a cup of coffee. In Meta's perspective, this technology holds the promise of unlocking novel possibilities for creators and artists. However, as technology evolves, concerns arise regarding its potential misuse. It could potentially serve as a potent tool for crafting and disseminating misinformation and deepfakes, further complicating the differentiation between authentic and fabricated content in the online realm. Meta's latest model represents a significant advancement in both the technical and creative aspects of generative AI. However, this progress also introduces heightened concerns, particularly related to the potential negative impacts associated with generated videos compared to still images, as highlighted by Henry Adger, a synthetic media expert. Henry emphasizes that the new capabilities of Meta's model raises the stakes not only in terms of technical and creative possibilities, but also in terms of potential for unique harms stemming from generated videos, which pose distinct challenges compared to still images. Gupta adds to the discussion by pointing out that currently, producing factually incorrect content that people might believe requires a certain degree of effort. However, the evolving landscape of generative AI suggests that in the future, it could become relatively simple to create misleading content with just a few keystrokes. While the developers of Make a Video have taken steps to filter out offensive images and words, the vast scale of underlying datasets, composed of millions of words and images, makes it nearly impossible to completely eliminate biased and harmful content. Meta's spokesperson clarifies that the model is not yet available to the public and underscores their commitment to ongoing research aimed at refining and mitigating potential risks associated with the technology. This statement suggests that Meta is actively working to address the ethical and practical challenges that may arise as the technology progresses. What do you think about this new tech in town? Are you excited about it? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an update from this channel. See you in the next one.